global growth at 3.5% in real terms, low inflation environment below central bank's target, another wave of new liquidity inflated by the central banks, global imbalances have narrowed at the expense of opening up internal imbalances. This is the final call for a fiscal policy to jump in and drive the way out from the crisis legacies. Our central case scenario of subpar growth based on still accommodative central banks uh, stance as well as uh, some uh, improvement in the reforms in several countries uh, is uh, supporting for a constructive uh, view on risky assets. The success of economic policies is key for the deployment of our medium to long term outlook. Monetary policies will be out of sync, they will continue to focus on complementary targets, but they cannot be the only game in town. Fiscal policies have to jump in to create jobs in the short term and to implement the structural reforms that are needed in order to create the growth multiplier. Yes, this is likely. There will be some natural volatility coming from the progressive adjustment of the debt cycle. Then some volatility could come if you deviate temporarily from the path policies are going to implement. There are several headwinds and several risks to our base case scenario. Let's start from the headwinds. First, the leveraging process is far from complete. Valuations are now stretched, or at least fair, in several asset classes. And third, the marginal impact of liquidity is much lower than in the past. Let's move now to risks. Currency war on one side, a lot of geopolitical risk, deflation risk. 